latest on what is now Super Typhoon Wu Tip, which now has winds according to Force 13's latest satellite estimates of 155 miles per hour, a pressure of 933 millibars. As a matter of fact, some of our recent satellite estimates have been yielding Category 5 values. Will it hold? We'll find out later. The CDPS scale looks like this. If the storm was to make landfall on Guam right now, it would be a stage 7. Thankfully, it looks very unlikely that that's going to happen at all. But as you know, on Guam, tropical storm force winds likely occurring in the, at least in the southern part of the island and along the western coast too. Well, right now, here's what it looks like. There's the wind field. 12.1 uh, degrees north, 142.7 degrees east. Further northwestward motion expected in the next few hours. 154 miles from the southern town of Inarajan in Guam, 177 from Yigo, 218 from Rota, 275 from Tinian, and 290 miles away from Saipan. Um, it's pretty much at its closest point to Guam right now. We'll start to move away. You can see where it is in relation to the islands here. Tropical storm warning still in effect for Guam and Rota. Tropical storm watch for the rest of the northern Mariana Islands, extending up to Agrihan and Pagan. Well, the models have been uh, in a little bit of transition again. Uh, you can see again still how strong this storm is and how strong it's going to be for a little while yet. Uh, HWRF thinks it will hold on to Category 4 intensity maybe for another two or three days. GFS there taking the storm to the north and then eventually all the models agree that it's going to really die a death and then eventually the remnants of the storm or a very weak version of it will slowly be drawn towards the west into the Philippine Sea and eventually towards the general direction of the Philippines, but if it does ever get there, it will not have anything to it of any description. Sea surface temperatures uh, further agree with that, because look at the temperatures there, 27 or 28, but sinking to 25 further on to the west in the Philippine Sea there. Uh, this is half of the reason why this storm has become so strong, those very warm sea surface temperatures that are year-round in the western Pacific. At, uh, their, at its disposal again. So there's another look at the GFS model. You can see it's starting to weaken by the time we enter next week. Still a typhoon on Tuesday. Um, into Wednesday there, loses typhoon status and then it starts to round the turn towards the west there. That's just one model run. Many other model runs are out there saying all kinds of different things. That's just one potential scenario. What it does mean is that chances for uh, storm conditions now further north in the Mariana Islands are very low. 92% in Guam, especially on the southwestern part. T only 22 in Rota, it's a fine line. 12% in Tinian, 10 in Saipan, and a just a 6% chance now of tropical storm force winds in Pagan. This is what the uh, latest models show, and as you can see, there's a massive lag behind. Uh, but the HWRF curiously has it at a significant intensity for another two or three days. Wind shear doesn't rise until the 26th or the 27th, so that's certainly into the middle of next week. Sea surface temperature is gradually declining, and so is relative humidity. All of the models on this display now take the storm eventually towards the west and ever further away from the islands. Latest satellite imagery, the storm looks pretty epic right now, you must say. Um, a lovely eye which reached temperatures of plus 16 degrees Celsius not so long ago. The only thing that's stopping it from Category 5 status in the last hour or two is just the eye wall itself not fully complete um, and is still shooting off towards the center there and a sign that the eye wall is still not fully complete. This could hit Category 5 status at any time between now and the next update. We'll be here with the latest later on. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project reach the next level by becoming a patron. It makes us even better and you can reap your own benefits from becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these patrons, too many to read out individually, but we thank them very much for their support through the project over several months now. 
You can also find Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 on Discord at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat.